Welcome back, it's Vendaga Games. It's been a while. Thank you guys so much for your patience and my very inconsistent upload schedule, but happy to be back with another video for you guys. I appreciate all the support, the subscribers, and those of you who've been watching and commenting and encouraging me to keep making these videos, even though it gets a little crazy sometimes, but we're gonna get another crafting video done today. So. Without further ado, let's get crafting. Today we're making a mummy inspired by this comment here. We'll be using my traditional style of using everyday household items as well as bits of garbage that I found around the house to make this mummy using this bent stir stick that I can't use for many other projects as well as some scrap paper and rather than making it the traditional size of my normal minis, this guy is going to be much bigger. It's going to represent a taller, ancient race of massive humanoids to give it more of an imposing, terrifying feel. I've chopped up the toothpicks into various sizes, representing the arms and the legs, and keeping them bunched together so I don't forget which sizes go where, so it's more consistent, as well as using the top of that Q-tip and the stir stick and the scrap piece of paper to fill in the rest of the figure. With the paper, I built a rib cage, cut some V shapes out of it to give it that rib cage feel, as well as made some spindly hands to attach to the arms. And then I built the rest of it just kind of like a wood doll figure with the rest of that stir stick for the shoulder blades and hips. And then after applying some hot glue to the arms and legs for definition, I also did the same with the face. You can see the nose and the chin and the eyebrows of this face. And using more of that scrap paper, I made a small lower jaw as well as an upper jaw that we're just going to apply straight to this guy. You can see that gaping maw just poking through there. And don't worry, it doesn't have to look perfect. It's going to be covered in toilet paper soon. That'll be fun. Here we're getting some various shades of brown, some terracotta, and we're going to just apply a heavy coat of this all throughout this minifigure. Once it dries, we're going to dry brush over it with some black paint to give it somewhat of like that old mummified, crusty look. As gross as that sounds, it does have an amazing impact on the overall look of this thing. And now the fun part. We get to wrap this thing in toilet paper, just like your childhood dreams of taking your parents' toilet paper and wrapping yourself in it and watch to their dismay. And don't worry, it's not 2020 anymore, so don't freak out about the toilet paper. It's all going to be okay. Here I've cut several threads of this stuff, and we're going to get some tacky glue and just lather this thing in it and just go to town with this toilet paper. We're going to wrap this guy up in layers and layers of this stuff until he looks like a genuine mummy. For some of you, this may require some patience as we're doing a lot of glue and a lot of wrapping and it gets a little tedious, but once you get to the head and you start wrapping this thing up, oh man, it looks so good. It just is looking spookier and spookier by the minute, but it's going to get even better. The more you apply and the more you add it on, it's just gonna add so much to this thing. Then taking some beige paint and tacky glue, we're gonna make a mixture with this stuff and then we're gonna put it off to the side for the time being while we get some of this textured paper to make some tassels and tattered strips of the wrapping to hang off this guy. It's a little more durable than the toilet paper trying to achieve this detail since the toilet paper is pretty brittle. And so this stuff is going to help strengthen the toilet paper on the mummy and make it all blend together perfectly. So that glue will harden with the paint and make it last much longer. Using the rest of that textured paper, we're going to make bits of clothing for this mummy, making it kind of Egyptian in style. We're gonna color some extra detail with this purple pen. Then we're just gonna apply each of these pieces onto the mummy using this tacky glue and using the tweezers to apply it and make it stick really well. Using the same paper, we're gonna make a headdress and we're gonna paint some more accent yellow 
onto this guy, as well as these little jewels I found at the hobby store. We're going to apply these little craft jewels to different parts of this guy's figure to just make him look like he was buried royalty. And here's a little bit of a black dry brush over it, kind of dabbed in to give it an aged look. Here we're gonna add little bits of white for the teeth, just to kind of give it some pop there and some menacing chompers to impose your party that dare to delve into this mummy's tomb. Some yellow paint for the eyes, give it just this evil undead look. And what mummy would be complete without its sarcophagus? Using some of this uh, crafting cardboard, we're going to cut out some basic shapes for this sarcophagus and cutting out pieces to attach to the sides using hot glue to kind of add some detail and some durability, giving it some extra strength. I also used hot glue on the lid to make a depiction of the ancient king or pharaoh of old, making it look a little worn, a little weather beaten, aged. And then to keep the lid from falling off while it's in play, I am attaching these pieces of the same cardboard to the top and bottom to kind of help it stay snug while the lid is closed. You can apply a little bit more glue if you need to to make them sturdier. And then we're going to use this mustard yellow and this metallic gold paint, and we're gonna mix them together to create our finished color for the sarcophagus, and we're just gonna apply it to the entire thing. Once that was done, I applied some black dry brushing to it, as well as some more of those gems to attach to the front of the sarcophagus. And just like that, the mummy is done. He's ready to hit the tabletop and scare the daylights out of your adventuring party. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I would love to hear from you guys. Stay tuned for future content. I have some pretty fun ideas I think you guys are gonna enjoy. But that's all we have for today, but until, we meet again.